and the radius at the point of contact here you know that in this figure you can draw any number of radii in the circle and here there is a tangent at p and the radius drawn from the point of contact is perpendicular to the tangent so that is taken as a theorem here the theorem says that the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact radius through the point of contact this is the statement of the theorem which says the relation between the tangent and the radius at the point of contact or the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact the radius drawn from the point of contact is always perpendicular to the tangent here we have to prove that op is perpendicular to xy xy is a tangent at p and op is perpendicular to xy that you have to prove and one thing that you know that from a given point to the given line the shortest distance from the given point to the given line is the perpendicular and the remaining distance from the line to the given point is more than the perpendicular therefore here on the base of that concept we have to prove that the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius so here let us prove the theorem here here we have taken the circle and the tangent is drawn from the point p so xy is a tangent at p where p is a point of contact and op is drawn that is the radius the radius at p is perpendicular to xy must be proved here so here you write here what is given here we are given a circle with center o what is given here we are given a circle with center o with center o and also there is a tangent xy to the circle at a point p a tangent right and a tangent xy to the circle at a point p at a point p here we are given a circle with center o and a tangent xy to the circle at a point p at a point p it is here the circle is given o is the center of the circle and p is a point on the circle xy is a tangent at p means here p is a point of contact so what we have to prove here we need to prove that we need to prove that what we have to prove op is perpendicular to xy what we have to prove we have to prove that op is perpendicular to xy so what we have to show here we have to show that here op is the shortest of all the lines that drawn from o to xy so we have to take one more point other than p so here what we have to take there is a necessity of construction extra construction is required what is that construction to prove that op perpendicular to xy what you have to take take a point take a point q 
on xy other than p other than p here p is already there so you take the point other than p on the xy and join and join oq so what you take here what you have to take take a point q here that is other than other than p and join that o and q o q is joined here so what is the construction that you have done here you have taken the point q other than p on the tangent xy and that point q and the center of the circle are joined so you got a line oq and here o is the center of the circle from the point o there are two lines one is the line op and other is the line oq drawn from the center to the tangent at p now here the point q must lie outside the circle why the point q must lie outside the circle you know that p is a point of contact it must lie on the circle and it is a point on the line xy and the remaining all the points must lie outside the circle as there is only one point which lies on the circle so you write the point the point q must lie outside the circle outside the circle why it is because p is a point of contact that is the only point which lies on the circle because p is the point of contact that is the only one point of the line xy which lies on which lies on the circle here q must lie outside the circle as p is a point of contact if q lies inside the circle what happens xy will become a secant and it will not be a tangent so if q also lies on the circle then xy becomes secant not a tangent here you know that in secant there are two points on the circle in tangent there is only one point on the circle therefore as xy is a tangent q must lie outside the circle therefore you can write therefore oq must be oq is longer than longer than the radius op of the circle oq is longer than the radius op of the circle that is that is oq is greater than op oq is longer than the radius op of the circle means oq is greater than op and if you take any points on the xy other than p all the lines must be greater than op so you can write that this happens for every point on the line xy except the point p 
so you write this happens this happens for every point every point on the line x y other the other than the point p other than other than the point p therefore you can say that op is the shortest of all the distance all the distance of the point o to the points of x y here on the line x y you can take any number of points if you join them to the point o they becomes the line becomes greater than the op here all the lines that you drawn from the points o to any points x y observe the lines here here if you draw more number of lines all the lines are having more length than the op here all the lines are longer than op therefore you can say that op is the shortest distance between o and x y op is the shortest distance of the point o to the x y so you can take here op is the shortest of all the distance of the point o to the points of x y therefore what you can see here so op is perpendicular to x y op is perpendicular to x y so you got that the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact